So, I don't know if you guys remember back in 2016. Actually, was it 2016? I'm pretty sure it was 2016. Between 2014 and 2017. How pranks used to be all the fucking rage, you know? On YouTube. Grab your video camera, a friend or two, do some dumb crap, and bam. Record people's reactions, post it on YouTube, get your millions and millions of views, and make bank off of that, and continue the cycle. You know, we all know the uh, good old YouTube greats, Prank vs. Prank, Roman Atwood, Vitaly, FusiTube, which, God, FusiTube has gone through a hell of a rabbit hole lately, hasn't he? <whistles> but, anyway, so... Another, uh, another YouTuber prankster has come up, and, um, he's not doing so hot. Yeah, he really isn't. There's an article here on, uh, NBC Washington about how a YouTube prankster was shot. The sheer foolishness and hubris of coming up to someone and them telling you, back up, go away, please, let me go, go away, and playing some horrid things from what I gathered on the video, and, you know, the repercussions are extreme. So, let's take a look here. We have a... A little bit of a video. He pulls out a gun and shoots Cook. Now, we do want to warn you that viewers might find this video disturbing. Huh? What? Quit thinking about my twinkle. What's that? Quit thinking about my twinkle. No. Quit thinking about my twinkle. Get out of my face and fuck off. Stop. Quit thinking about my twinkle. Stop. Stop. So yeah, 20 seconds. 20 seconds is all it took for a funny ha ha he he ho ho prank to turn into a life or death situation. What's your take on that? Granted, looking at this man, he looks disheveled, he looks tired, he looks just done with everything, and he also looks a bit antisocial. Now, I don't mean to judge people from their appearances, but he certainly looks like the type of person that, um, you really wouldn't want to follow you in an alleyway, just to say the least. I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm sure he's a nice guy. But I personally would not mess with him in any way, shape, or form. Now, I believe his name is Cook. He's fine. He's alive. But he he's going to continue making his videos. No, I'll, I don't want to give more traffic to his channel, so I'm not going to, you know, voice voice it, but just by the last name, I'm sure you could find it, or just looking up the article, you can find it yourselves, but I'm not going to do that, because I just hate idiots like this. So, the man's name is Alan Coley. He wasn't found guilty of malicious wounding. But they are trying to charge him for um, discharge in a public and crowded area. That might get him some years. I don't see why they should do that, personally, due to the fact that he told the man to back up constantly. He did it anyway. And I would have also felt like it's a situation where I needed to protect myself. And more than likely, I would have done the same. But, you know, they're both alive. Still kicking. One may spend years in prison for the mistake of a dumbass with a camera. So don't be like that. Please, for the love of all that is holy, and whoever the hell you believe in, do not be like that. Be a better person. Don't follow these examples. He st Cook here still seems to be in the Fusi 2 Vitali days. Must be where he peaked, but good lord. So yeah, that's about it. I saw this maybe 20 minutes ago now. 
don't be like them. Be smart, be safe, and take care of yourselves, all right? Later.